This lesson covers adding roles and features using DISM. DISM is a key tool for any kind of management of the online operating system from the command prompt and offline images. I'm running in an elevated command prompt window. I can do this by doing start key plus R to run and type CMD if I'm logged on as an admin. If I just click start and type CMD and then right click on command prompt, I can say run as administrator. This will start an elevated command prompt window. To manage the online, i.e. my current operating system, I can use DISM with the slash online parameter, and then I can do get features to see all the available features. This shows me the feature name and its current state. I could do the same thing against an image. I could use DISM slash image, and then I would add the path to the mounted WIM file or VHD file that I had previously mounted using the DISM utility. From that folder, for example, C test mount, I could then use get features. To enable a feature for my current operating system, I would use DISM online enable feature slash feature name and then the name of the feature, which is this name that is shown when I use the get features parameter. I could type in DHCP server and I could do slash or if there were other components to it. Likewise, instead of doing online, I could use the slash image and then pass the mounted folder. To remove, it's exactly the same, but instead of using enable feature, I would use disable feature. In addition to the disable feature, just like with PowerShell, if I do the DSM online disable feature and then the feature name, let's just say XYZ, if I do slash remove, this will remove it from the disk footprint of the machine. That will completely make it unavailable in the box. And if I wanted to install it in the future, I would have to pass an alternate source where I could get the files from.